the game. <laughs> okay. Yeah, as you see, he's here. Uh, there are still a few formalities um, to get everything concreted, um, but really happy to have him. Uh, I know the player really well. Um, he's an exceptional footballer, and he's someone that is going to bring as well another competitive edge to, to that dressing room. Both. He can play in both. He, he was a natural number 10 uh, early in his career, and um, we converted it into a left back, uh, which can do a lot of things that we want in our way of playing. And uh, that versatility is something that, um, that is going to be important for the team because we have all the players in that position that, that are more specific fullbacks. So, really happy. Miguel, yeah, very good signing. Um, more to come before the window closes. I don't know, it's what we have today, uh, and as well we have a large squad, so we have to make some decisions as well on, on the players that, um, that we're not going to be using consistently and, and be fair and straight with them, and uh, that's a process that's going to start very soon as well. So it could be busy without fans over the next few weeks? We have to, we have a, a big squad and uh, now we have to make things happen. I just ask you about that versatility, Macau. A lot of the players you brought in, a lot of the players you brought in this summer, you know, if you think of Fabio or Gabriel and, and now uh, Zinchenko as well, they can play in multiple positions. How deliberate has that been? And do you think that the introduction of the five subs to the Premier League is going to make that really important, that kind of flexibility in game? It's one of the things and the way we can adapt uh, structures, formations, um, rotations within the squad and playing with the same players in different ways. Uh, to be more unpredictable is obviously that uh, it's important and that's why we have recruited uh, those players. Do you think it's going to have a big change in the Premier League, the five subs? Do you think it will become more tactical, more chess-like, more changes? It will be much more unpredictable uh, to try to figure out what the opponent is going to do and, uh, and there are going to be changes. So whatever you have planned at the beginning doesn't mean that, that uh, it's going to happen at the end. You've used Albert Sambi Lakonga as an eight for most of this preseason. We use him as a six in the past. Is there a position where you think he excels more? We are trying uh, where he feels comfortable, where he can develop in in the best possible way. He's really comfortable playing that position, um, and uh, we want to try and see what uh, he can bring um, in that position as well. It's true that now we are missing as well Emil and Fabio are not there, so that uh, position was a little bit uh, short. And um, and he's done well. Is Lucas Torreira still with the camp? Lucas Torreira is our player, yes. Mikel, Eddie and uh, Jesus together, again, quite some chemistry tonight. Uh, how often do you anticipate seeing them play together and, and will you deploy them in a different way than perhaps, say, Alba we'll, and Laka played in the past? We want to build those relationships and uh, they haven't played a lot of minutes together yet. The same with uh, Martin and Gabi, for example. Um, and we have to start to do that. We obviously do it in training, but to put it in practice in matches, it's, it's important and you can see um, that they are finding themselves in with good timings and um, and it's important because there are two players with a, with a big goal threat. Mikel, I'm wondering if you could talk broadly about what these overseas tours bring to the to the side preparing for the preseason, uh, facing against MLS teams and then just traveling mm. together. Well, first of all, obviously, um, the exposure of the club. We are a huge club and you can see every city that, uh, that we are present, the reaction and the support that we get. So it's very important for our brand, for our supporters to, um, to be next to them. And uh, the USA is a huge market. We have a lot of fan base and uh, we have to promote that and, and make them feel that uh, we are ready to come here. And then those practices and those tours, it gives you a different level of competition. Uh, against the uh, opponents that you don't really know. They are in the middle of the season, so physically they are in, in a better condition than you. And then to play in that heat, I think it brings a good adaptation after for um, when we have to go back to the, to the UK. Uh, Mikel, William Saliba's has only got two years left on his deal. He might be in the club already for two years. Is there a plan to extend his current deal? We always have a plan, and uh, when we have to execute it, that's a different story. And uh, football is a really funny game, but uh, we are really happy to have him. You can see the the way he's adapted, uh, the way he's mature, and um, and he's playing, he's playing well, and uh, we are delighted to have him. And finally, 
Hi, Michael. Um, Hi. With the season starting in a few weeks, is there um, a target? Obviously, we just missed out on top four last season. Is there, can we say, a realistic target of top four and above next season? When we, our target at this club is to, to win competition. It cannot be anything, anything else than that. And the way we are building the squad is to achieve that. Um, today, we are still in precision. The window is not closed. Uh, the squad is not closed. And uh, we will set our targets um, internally, but they won't be at the end of the season. It will be much shorter because that's still too far and a lot of things will happen. Okay, everyone. Thank, Thank you, guys. Ah!